Starting strong is great. Finishing strong is epic. Robin Sharma. I remember the 35th kilometer of the Berlin Marathon. Pag marathon kasi 42. So, 7 kilometers to go. And I was telling myself, nakaka-35 na ako. So, siguro, slow down a bit, relax. Besides, of the 50,000 runners, by that time, yung 10,000 nag-quit na. Yung 10,000 nag-iisip ng mag-quit. So, feeling ko, hindi naman ako mag-quit, medyo... Pabagal ako lang ng kaunti. And when I close my eyes to relax, whose face do I see? My eldest son, Donny, yung artista. Nagkasundo kami that I will reach a new personal record in that marathon, which was my maybe eighth or ninth marathon. And I remembered, meron palang chip dun sa aking numero at tinatrack niya ako sa computer online. Ibig sabihin, every kilometer, he knew my time. At malalaman ni Donny, habang pinapanood niya, na pagdating dun sa 35th, bumagal na ako. And after the race, I know that already my son would ask me, Dad! What happened to you? Dun sa 35th, kasi medyo bumagal ka. Now, kung sobrang cramps all over, so, son, grabe, I was cramping all over. Pero, tinapos ko pa rin. Bilip siya. Wala namang cramps eh. Or maybe I could have said, grabe, mali ang hydration ko, mali ang nutrition ko, so nagsusuko ka si daddy. Tinapos mo pa rin, bilip siya. Eh, hindi naman ako. Nagsusuko eh. I would have told my son, son, pagod na ako eh. And you know what Donnie would have told me? Dad, lahat ng sumasali sa marathon, napapagod. You quit. I gave up on the goal. If I slow down. And he would have been correct. And because I knew I could not face my son and tell him that I quit in the last seven by slowing down and not reaching my new target. I had no choice but to finish strong. And I did reach a new personal target. Number one, the temptation to settle for mediocrity. Pwede na. Pasado na. Compliant naman eh. Number two, the power of technology. Dahil kung walang technology, hindi niya ako matatrack eh. Kaya, galit na galit ako sa technology noong araw na yun. But number three, the need for accountability. Kailangan nananago tayo para maganda ang takbo natin. Seven big ideas. Number one, if we are going to wow ourselves to the finish line and not whimper our way na naging ano sa finish line, we have to accept the fact that stuff happens. Ibig sabihin, minsan may trigger sa mundo natin na hindi natin naasahan. My incidente. A stimulus is a force. Something that you did not expect. Or feeling natin, more of the same naman eh. Wala naman ang ngayari pagbabago eh. At kung minsan ay di-discourage tayo, minsan nabibigla tayo. 
Change is happening. Do you agree? Change is happening every day. I remember last month, a few months ago, no, two months na siguro, because I go to Singapore every other month because I'm taking another course, I'm studying, I'm a lifelong learner. I study in a school called INSEAD, but this time I had a friend who invited me to go to the Singer, Singapore Institute of Technology, SIT. While we were talking, sabi niya, why don't we have coffee? So, pumunta kami sa coffee shop, nag-order kami ng kape, namili doon sa options, binayaran namin yung kape, nagpasalamat sa amin yung nagbenta, lumabos kami ng coffee shop, and you know what I realized? All the time we were in that coffee shop, wala kaming kausap na tao. Robot ang kausap namin. It was a robot that was asking us, serving us, collecting the bill, and then giving the change. And because of technology, facial recognition, pagbalik mo, may nakalimutan ka, i-welcome ka nun. Welcome back, Mr. Pangilina. Oh, we say technology is an enabler. Many times, sometimes, it becomes a replacer. November 11, 2018, do you know that Amazon, not Amazon, uh, Alibaba, on Crazy Friday, when they buy things online, was selling at least $1 billion of products a minute. A minute. But it's not all online, ha? Kailangan magaling ka rin offline. Ay, baka kasi feeling nila dahil nandiyan na online, hindi na ka na nang offline. Tama ba? Importante ang high-tech, pero mas importante ang high-touch. When you press flesh. Tama ba? You think the Chinese are good in online? Of course. But they're better offline. That's why they're here. In the Philippines and all over the world. Do your computations. At least 100 million Chinese tourists go all over the world every year. 2018, at least 100 million Chinese travel. Everyone spent $10,000. Make your computation. 100 million times 10,000 per person. How much, how much did they spend? That was not offline. That was while they were traveling offline. Change is happening. In the 1980s in this country, 1980s po, alam nyo ba na 9 out of 10 children ang idol nila, magulang? 9 out of 10, ha? Nung 80s. Alam nyo ba ngayon? It is 4 out of 10. Meron pang mga lugar dito sa Pilipinas, 2 out of 10 na lang. Pag tinanong ang bata, dalawa sa 10, ang idol nila hindi magulang. Sino ang idol nila? Sino ang idol nila? Ta Tell your seat, mate. Hindi ikaw. Hindi ikaw. Who are the idols? Creations of media. Right? Creations of media. Whether it is in sports or in showbiz. Why? Power of technology? Yes. But also the failure of talent. Delegate ng delegate eh. Delegate ng delegate. May mga bagay hindi ka pwedeng i-delegate. Tama ba? Kung kikita ka, kailangan magpakita ka. Hindi pwedeng post up ng post forward, ng forward. No way! You work hard. You show up. So yes, stuff happens. But we have to accept. It's happening to all of us. Change is happening every day even as we speak. And you cannot deny it. It's a changing world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, more change is to come. Stuff happens and more will happen. Number two, understanding of the stuff, kung ano nangyari, napaka-personal. Yung katrabaho mo, para sa kanya, wala lang yan, hiccup lang yan. Pero para sa'yo, yung pagkabago, oh my God, major setback. 
I am not motivated to move on. Bakit yung katabi ko ready to zoom forward? Eh, depende kasi sa interpretation eh. Why is it that when the leader comes to a room filled with 100 people, pag in-announce niya ang bagong programa, 50 are so excited, 50 want to go home? Eh, depende sa understanding eh. Nasa pananaw eh. Nasa perspective. Understanding is so personal. It is so unique. I was doing a sales seminar for a top fitness organization in this country. Yung mga top salesmen na kausap ko. Tumayo yung number one. Ang problema kasi dito sa kumpanya namin, Anthony. Pag na-reach na namin ang target this quarter, next quarter, tinataas yung target. So sabi ko sa kanya, problema ba yun? Eh, nakakastress eh. So sabi ko sa kanya, eh, ba't di tayo makiusap sa management? For the next 12 months, okay? Yung target mo, sa'yo lang ha, is steady natin. Ang sagot ay, bakit? Feeling nyo, hindi ko kaya. Do you mind hindi yan, eh, di ba? Peter Sengi is from MIT. Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Ganda nung kanyang illustration eh. Kumuha siya ng rubber band. Tapos, three nets niya. Can you see this? Okay? Vertical stretch. And it, I love what he said. This is your reality. Nandito tayo ngayon. Okay? This is your dream. Okay? Ito ang pangarap natin. Are you following? At dahil po may gap to, dun sa realidad ngayon at yung pangarap natin, meron tayong nararamdaman. Ano yung nararamdaman natin? Dahil dun sa puwang na yun, dahil sa gap. What do you feel? Pressure. Stress. Tension. You know what Sengi said? S-E-N-G-E. -E. That tension is good. Huwag kang negative na may tension sa buhay mo. Ang importante yung tension mo ay dahil may pangarap ka sa buhay. Because that vision pulls you out of bed in the morning. Hindi ka mabangon eh kung walang pangarap. Are you following? He calls it creative tension. It inspires you to move forward. There are only two ways to lessen the tension. Kasi pag sobrang naman ang tension, ano mangyayari? Bibigay yun. Tama ba? Dalawa na ang pwedeng mangyayari para mabawasan ang tension. You change your reality and move towards the vision. O pwede rin yung isa. Huwag ka nalang mangarap. <laughs> we are insatiable. And we were meant by God to move from glory to glory. Huwag kang kampante. Huwag na yung pwede na. Mangarap ka pa. But you have to accept the fact that there will be tension. Importante yung tension dahil sa vision. 100 meter final sa Olympics. Baka mas madali ito. 100 meters ha. Takbo. Lahat ng mga tatakbo nandito sa starting line. Ito po ang finish line. Question. Meron bang tension sa mga tatakbo sa starting line? Yes. Of course! Lahat may tension sa simula. Lahat nakafocus sa vision. And when the starting gun is fired because of that tension based on the vision, everybody goes to the finish line. Nobody goes to the left. Nobody goes to the right. Thank God for the tension. Magpasalamat ka sa mga tension ng buhay mo. I don't know if I shared this before. I think I have to stress it again. No matter what happens to you, one of my mentors, John Maxwell, reminds us, it's not what happens to you that's important. It's what happens in you. Yung reaction mo importante. Yung pananaw mo importante. Hindi ko na nangyari sa'yo. Yung sagot mo. Ang 
hayop, mga kaibigan. Ulitin lang natin to. Alam nyo na to, pero nakakalimutan natin. Pag meron pong puwersa o stimulus po, tawagin. Hindi nag-iisip yan. Bigla niya magre-react. Instinct. Ang tao, pag may nangyari, may gap muna eh. Hindi basta-basta dapat nag-react yan. May gap muna, may panahon. Bago siya nag-react. Anong dapat nangyayari doon sa gap na yun? What's supposed to happen when something happens to you? What are you capable of as a human being? You think. You process. You seek counsel. You get advice. You pray. You grieve. Because when you breathe, you make better decisions when you're at rest. At ang humihinga, namamahinga. Ang problema natin, pabigla-biglang reaksyon eh. Yan ang problema natin sa bayan natin kuminsan eh. Feeling natin lahat, biktima tayo. No. You're not an animal. You can always choose. You can always respond. To respond is to positively react. No matter how challenging the situation, no matter what your problems are, no matter how difficult the competition, no matter what your children don't do to obey you or your husband or wife has done to hurt you, you can always win if you choose to react positively. That's not the victim's mentality. That is the victor's mentality. And that is for every human being like you and me.